Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this series, we are looking into the basic concept of state flow and how the concept works in state flow. In this video, we will be looking into one application of self transition in MATLAB state flow. So let's look into the same as in the last tutorial we have seen that we can build self transitions now let's use those self transition to do some operations so in this case we will be defining an entry condition which we have seen in the last tutorials in case you want to see them please refer to our playlist here we will be defining x equal to x plus one and in the during condition we will be defining du colon y equal to y plus 2 again in this we will be defining en x equal to x minus 1 du y equal to y minus 2 and in the self transition we will be defining the outcome here y equal to 1 and again x equal to here we have defined y equal to 1 and x equal to 1 which is basically to reset the whole thing and in the default transition we will be defining x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 and in here we will be again doing the reset for x and y now we have the symbol wizard available over here which is asking like what type of data x is then it will be an output data what type of data y is then also it is a output data or it could be a local data local data we will consider both as local data now let's uh, try to simulate this model so first we will be keeping this as zero because we want to stay in the on state and we will keep this also as zero so that the condition will not satisfy now let's step now we will be able to see the values of x and y x is 2 and y is 1 now let's step again y will be 3 and now x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 this is happening because of the during condition because this is staying in the same state now let's enable the condition for the switch one by double clicking on the same we will have enabled the condition now when we execute in the next step now you will be able to see both the value got set to 1 why this is showing uh, x equal to 2 because it is able to do the entry operation it is exiting the state and then it is doing some entry so that's why it is uh, showing x as 2 but it is able to reset y because while entry only the operation will happen but uh, during needs to happen when uh, the state is active continuously so that is why it is able to reset the y value but not the x value because it is going out and then coming in while coming in it is doing the reset operation so while leaving this uh, it has set the value of x equal to 1 then again entering it has executed the entry operation which is x equal to x plus 1 which that is why it is uh, 2 okay now uh, let's uh, enable the switch condition and see how it is happening for the other state now both the conditions are true now step again okay so it is now not able to take the transition of this one because this transition has more priority so this is taking this transition so we need to disable this transition then only this will be able to go to the op state so let's disable that transitions also by setting it to zero okay now if we step again then it will go to the op step now we are at the op state now at this moment of time we have the value of x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 now let's enable the condition which is already enabled so now let's step again it will take this transition to set the value step so it is now able to take this transition now x should be 0 y should be 1 because while leaving it has set the value of x equal to 1 but it got entry again so that's why entry operation happened 
and x equal to x minus 1 happened and as already x has the value of 1 and 1 minus 1 that is giving 0 x equal to 0 and for y it has set to y equal to 1 and it has kept that value because during operation didn't execute now suppose i turn on this particular condition then this condition will not execute because because it has a priority of second priority so let's see whether it is happening or not so let's keep this switch.